Holly, that's Nicole, and this is Modern Tales 101. So last week we discussed methods of distribution, which at one point I mentioned relates greatly to how an audience reacts to a genre or work. With that being said, it's chat time! Today's chat time is sponsored by the word reception. Reception is how a genre or work within that genre is perceived by its audience and where that perception takes that genre or work in chat terms, its trajectory. A method has been devised for measuring positive reception in media, namely award shows. So now comes the boring part of this episode where I list the awards that both Sherlock and the Lizzie Bennet Diaries have received. In the interest of keeping this short, I am omitting instances during which an actor, actress, or the show in general only received a nomination. Sherlock's awards are as follows. In the 2011 BAFTA Awards, they won Best Drama Series and Best Supporting Actor. In the 2012 BAFTA Awards, they won Best Supporting Actor. At the BAFTA Simu Awards, they won Best Television Drama, Best Director of Fiction, Best Director of Photography and Fiction, Production Design, and Makeup and Hair. At the 2011 Edinburgh International Film Festival, they won the Archiva Award for Best Terrestrial Show. At the British Academy Television Craft Awards, they won Best Editing Fiction. At the 66th Primetime Emmy Awards, they won Outstanding Lead Actor in a Miniseries or Movie, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or Movie, Outstanding Writing for a Miniseries, Movie, or a Dramatic Special. The Lizzie Bennet Diaries Awards are as follows. At the 3rd Streamy Awards, they won Best Writing Comedy and Best Interactive Program. At the 4th Streamy Awards, they won Best Drama Series and Best Female Performance Drama. At the 2nd International Academy of Web Television Awards, they won Best Interactive Experience. And at the 65th Primetime Creative Arts Emmy Awards, they won Outstanding Creative Achievement in Interactive Media for Original Interactive Program. Therefore, if we use awards or award shows as a measurement of success, both shows were very well received. Further evidence of both shows' positive reception is shown through the actions of their respective fandoms. Fandoms are followers of a particular work of fiction that together are considered a subculture or community. Fandoms typically frequent social media sites to gain new members and generate more excitement about their passion. Sometimes they even meet up in person and do stuff. In real life! What? Both fandoms buy merc, or merchandise for those of you not up on the fancy lingo, including the I Am Sherlock t-shirts and the Everyone Deserves Tea coffee mugs. Additionally, each show has inspired viewers to become writers through fanfiction. Fan fiction are stories written by fans of a particular movie, TV show, book, manga, anime, comic, or even video games using their pre-existing characters and story arcs. Sometimes these stories are shared with other crazed fans on fanfiction.net. Unleash your imagination. Most of the time, these stories go really wrong really fast. But sometimes great things can happen. Maybe. Another way fandoms express their love and dedication is to cosplay as their favorite characters. Cosplay is nerd jargon for dressing up as a character in a work of fiction. Once in a blue moon, fandoms go so far as to instigate change and influence the direction of their beloved shows. Sherlock's fandom was so loud and obnoxious about loving Molly Hooper, a character that didn't even exist in the original Sherlock Holmes, that the writers of the show had no choice but to include her in more of the main storyline. Talk about having a devoted fan base. In all seriousness, though, Fandoms and their active communities are a source of feedback to the creators of the show, and are an indicator of success. They also provide income with their excessive buying of merch, and free advertising with their excessive using of merch. To put it in terms of a biological analogy, the creators of Sherlock and the Lizzie Bennet Diaries have a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship with their fandoms. See? I can do not english things too! I just usually choose not to. That concludes today's video, in which we discussed methods of measuring reception. Hopefully by now you can tell that many of the chat terms overlap. Sources and links to other things can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching, and thank you especially if you watched all of our videos, as this will be the last one in the series, and maybe on the channel. Unless we get an overwhelming number of people who want Nicole and I to make more stuff. I hope you enjoyed Productively Fangirling with me. Feel free to comment. From the two of us here at Modern Tales 101, bye!